Hi guys. So in this video, we are going over how to receive a payment in QuickBooks Online. We're going to keep it simple. Uh, we are not going to uh, go through the undeposited funds account in this uh, video, but I am working on another video, which is uh, very detailed and it's going to explain everything about undeposited funds account. Um, anyhow, so let's see how to record a payment in QuickBooks Online. Now, two ways of recording uh, payments. Now, one, you can manually record a payment against an invoice in QuickBooks Online. Um, second way to do it is through banking. So we're going to go over both of these ways. Let's do the manual one first. So we'll go to sales. We'll go to our customers that have open balances. And let's say the payment received is $1,000 from this one customer, ABC company. We looked at the invoice, we can click, we can click here, receive payment, or we can say new transaction and payment. A date of the payment, let's say 11-1. How did we get the payment? We got a check. Check number is one, two. And we are depositing it into our bank account, checking account. Invoice number this, we got a thousand dollars payment and we are going to say save and close. And that's how we would record a payment manually in QuickBooks Online. Now, second way of doing it is by going to banking. So let's go to banking. Here, I'm going to record this payment of $3,400. What QuickBooks Online does is if it finds an invoice with the same amount, it tries to match the payment with that invoice. Now, sometimes there could be multiple invoices with the same uh, in, invoice amount and in the same date range, similar date range. So it doesn't know which one is the right match. At that point, it's gonna show you how many possible matches it found. So it says two matches found. I'm gonna click on this transaction and I'll see which invoices are open. And I would know, of course, which invoice my client is paying for. So I will pick the invoice that the payment is for. 10-1 invoice, and I'll say match. Now, if you go back to sales, customers, and you go to your customer's account, you will see the payment here, right here. This is the payment we just recorded, and the invoice got closed. So those, these are the two ways that you can record a payment in QuickBooks Online.